you know in germany the mode of transport is basically public transport i kid you not life is way much better having public transport it just depends on your preferences what's up guys this video is basically short and sweet about germany and whatever i say in this video so i hope you like it and enjoy okay let us you know dive right into it all right look um this is a continuation from the previous video that i posted um yeah some time back i don't know when you're seeing this but anyways look today this is the right hand look this is my scar this scar costed me 900 euros in today's money how much is that let me have a look okay actually this scar didn't cost me 15,000, but it actually costed me i don't know if you can see it properly but yes you see the thing is right in germany um medical health care or let me say healthcare is very expensive you know and that is why it is essential that when you travel abroad you need to make sure that you have medical aid sorted out before you travel to germany you need to make sure you have um, a temporal travel insurance that will take care of anything that happens to you when you travel from your country like, let me say namibia between what happens here in namibia and whatever happens when you get to germany and when you get to Germany, you gotta get insurance from the health insurance providers over there. It's mandatory. Why? Because healthcare is very expensive, okay? Anyways, this was sort this was this costed me 18,000, but because I had medical insurance, I basically paid like what? Okay, I can't tell you due to it being a confident uh, situation of mine but I did pay a fraction of it I could afford it it was fine but anyways I was cycling my bicycle riding down a hill with my boy Philip everything was nice all my days Germany was beautiful I kept cycling and I, I all of a sudden just became a whole tourist or something yeah and you know ugh, I'm not liking this I gotta switch this up let me let me get something real quick I, okay, cool. How should I put this on? Should I put it on like this? Nah, it doesn't bring out my face much. How about like this? Nah, I don't know. But anyways, I need a cut, man. Guys, if you need haircuts, just holla sway. Sway the barber. So yeah, you know, getting back to it. Guys, medical health. Yo, I kid you not. You can punch me in the nose, punch me in the face, break a bone, you're gonna get ridiculous. Healthcare, pri healthcare. prices, whatever, whatever, whatever. One thing that I learned about going to Germany is, um, in Germany, you need to have a good language proficiency. It starts from A1 up till C2. Speaking under correction, but that's what I remember. As for me, it's like what? A1, very basic. Hello, guten Abend. Because it's nighttime now, that's basically good evening. But yeah, guten Abend. Wie geht's mir dir? <laughs> Let me not even dive right into it. I don't want to embarrass myself to my German friends. Let me not disappoint you guys. <laughs> but yeah, you know, life, life is amazing. For me, I'm used to... I'm used to having private transport here in Namibia and it was quite exciting, it was quite interesting to be moving around on a bus, moving around on a train, which I don't usually do here in Namibia. And recently when I was there, they introduced the 9 euro ticket, such a cool thing, whereby you could travel anywhere in Germany at the cost of 9 euros. That is like what, 200 Namibian dollars. Imagine from Oranyamund all the way to Katima Mulilo, you just pay 200 for like a full month or something. Like you subscribe to a ticket, a travel ticket, you just pay 200 bucks. And for the whole month, you can travel throughout Namibia at the expense of $200. That was damn amazing. 
that was really amazing. And that is one thing that I appreciate from the from the Germans. They are really they're really great. And another thing is I love their cars. Oh my days. I kid you not. One day, you know the G Wagon? Let me show you this car. This car is my baby. This car right here. One day, actually, let me say something. This car is called a G Wagon. This is the G Class of the Mercedes. Mercedes Benz manufacturer. And the G actually stands for Gabriel. So, since you know its nickname is a G Wagon, what people are actually saying is the Gabriel, the Gabriel Wagon. You know, that's gonna be my car soon, soon. A surprise for all of you. Watch the space, watch the space. <laughs> but yeah, so the place is good. The food is amazing and it gets onto you. You need to be careful when you get to Germany. If you eat a lot, trust me, you're, you're gonna see the difference like within a week. You see, for me, I'm, I'm bigger now. I'm bigger than I used to be. I'm, I'm bigger now that I've returned <laughs> to Namibia and um, the food really left an impact on me. So to maintain my current build, I'm just a bit smaller now. I've been slacking on the gym for a bit. Damn. What I'd like to say is take care of yourself. I can do another video on my talks in Germany, but for now, if you really like my videos, you love my channel, have a look over here, or have a look over here. You'll find more videos in Germany. And if you have more information, um, leave it in the comments and I'll attend to it. And when I have time and when it's relevant, I can make another video like this. And oh yeah, my biggest, my biggest advice for all of you is Spend money on experiences. Don't spend them on things. Believe me, it's very worth it. Very worth it. But otherwise, if you'd like to catch up on my vlogs, or if you're new to my channel, there's something up here on the video that you can click onto and just go catch up on my content. <laughs>